Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. This one is from Marvel Studios called Ant Man and the Wasp. It comes out July 6th later on this year. First, we got Black Panther, then we have Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War, and then we have Marvel's Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, really looking forward to this film. I really did enjoy the first Ant Man that came out in 2015, directed by Peyton Reed. This is directed by Peyton Reed as well. The first Ant Man was supposed to be directed by Edgar Wright. I was disappointed when he left, but Peyton Reed came in and he surprised me. It was a great film. I think right now, the first Ant Man is my number six. Uh, movie out of the whole MCU. It could be number seven, but I'm pretty sure it is number six. But I'm really looking forward to this trailer. Um, so let me go ahead and put on these headphones and you guys can stop listening to me talk and watch me watch the trailer. Three, two, one. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. Civil but War, if you baby. had, you'd have never been caught. <laughs> I like that. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. Oh. <laughs> We're still running. <laughs> Let's go. That's what's up. Oh, that's good thing. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, giant man. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. <laughs> <laughs> she doing the matrix <laughs> you gave her wings and blasters yeah yeah so you didn't have that tech available for me <laughs> no i did <laughs> oh, <what is> that? <laughs> i like it I like it so much. We finna watch it again. <laughs> that was nice. That was real nice. Okay, what's going on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Three, two, one, go. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? They tie these movies together we'll so know. well. They make a good couple too. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. The music. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. <laughs> We're That's still crazy. running. Let's go. That is crazy. Shrinking buildings. Just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. <laughs> that is so clean. Hold on. You gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. No, I, I did. did. <laughs> so resourceful like i am really 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 looking forward to this like man marvel is just kicking ace hold on where, the, where is the cursor at okay i got like multiple monitors and all this so i mean so we got black panther 
uh, I'm, I'm recording this. So what's today? Tuesday. So of course, Black Panther. The world premiere was last night in Los Angeles, in L.A., California, and the Twitter, react, the social media reactions are just through the roof. Some are saying this is the best Marvel movie uh, to date, and all that. And you know, I could talk about that in a separate video. So you know, I'm, I'm already looking forward to that. And then we got Avengers: Infinity War, which is going to be like Avengers: Infinity War, Avengers Three, but also kind of like a Black Panther 1.5 because at the end of that trailer, uh, we get every all that shot from uh, Wakanda with the um, Jabari Cl Jabari tribe, the mountain tribe with M'Baku leading in the charge so that just ties in together as well we're going to have Ant-Man in that movie and then two months later we get Ant-Man in the Wasp so we get to see uh, I forgot her name, uh, the uh, the Wasp what, what's her real name? Uh, Evangeline uh, Lily, is that her name? yeah, uh, Hope Van Dyne and you know her mother is uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, Janet Van Dyne and so I like Jenna Van Dyne is she's not going to not uh, Ho Van Dyne the Wasp is not going to be in Avengers uh, Infinity War but right after Ant Man and the Wasp March of next year we have uh, Captain Marvel and then Avengers Four or whatever and so just like it's just like perfect to where. You know, we get Avengers Infinity War and then the Ant-Man movie bringing in the Wasp and then, you know, Captain Marvel and then she's going to be in Avengers 4 next year. Just like this super duper culmination. And I just like the very beginning of this trailer. They show little flashbacks to Civil War and she's like, you know, hey, I mean, I, I, it's pretty safe to assume that there was a couple at the end of the first Ant-Man. And, um, you know, we get the flashbacks of Civil War, you know, when Cap asked Ant-Man to come help. And he's like, you know, hey, if I would have asked you for help. Um, you know, back when Cap needed it or whatever, which you have come. And she's like, you know, you'll never know, but you wouldn't have gotten caught. I love that because that was one of the, uh, one of her main complaints in the first Ant-Man. It's like, look, man, let me put on the suit, dad. Michael Douglas, let me put on the suit. I know this. I know the facility. I know the technology. I know the suit. You know, I'm better than Ant-Man. And he had a valid reason as to why he didn't want her to jump into the suit. So I'm just like so freaking happy now that we get to see her in the suit. And that thing at the end, when she was like doing the matrix in the air shrunk down to the size of an ant with wings you know twisting all around that was just like lovely like i cannot wait to see that in theater like real talk it's just like just looks super dope and then one shot i didn't like say anything when i was watching this past two times but we got to see another version of like the microverse and it, uh, or the microverse that's what they used to call it in like the comics or the tv show but in the last ant man they call it the quantum realm but you saw all these little small uh organisms or like small insect creatures what the hell was that um something made a noise outside and you know we get to see that so I, I'm, I'm assuming that we're going to also get to see uh, Michelle Pfeiffer come back but this is this does concern me because there's been so much speculation about her coming back because when she shrunk down to the point to where um, she went to the quantum realm they were like on the other side of the world like over the ocean so even if they aren't going to get her back shouldn't she be somewhere floating around that part of you know space and time you know, how would she get back to the States? I don't understand that. Of course, this is all based on fiction anyway, but I hope it makes sense. You know, don't don't um, don't do what they did in Thor Ragnarok and not give us a full explanation of how Thor, uh, Hulk got over to um, wherever he was. I forgot what the name of that place was, but you know what I'm talking about. But that looks freaking dope. Um, I love the joke where he was like, you know, so you gave her wings and blasters and uh, I like that they acknowledge that even in the trailer because I don't know, maybe they're going to explain more of why she's able to do that and he's not, uh, you know, with his suit because it's, it's kind of just like them saying like, you know, if you want to be the best that you can be, why not give everybody blasters, give everybody wings? So maybe they'll explain that. Um, uh, it looks like he's going to, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of family dynamic in this as well. He's a superhero, but he's also a family man. So I like how he's going to have to try to balance both lives. Um, I hope everybody comes back like T.I. and oh, yeah, they are coming back. They was in the trailer. Michael Pena is in the trailer. Um, T.I. is in the credits as well. Excuse me. I don't know about that other guy. But what, what it was something else in the trailer. It was so cool when the car shrunk down and got under the car and then got big and flipped it. He's throwing pass machines out the back of the car and making it big. I liked all that. The guy, Michael Douglas, shrunk a building and took it with him. That I mean, like, he had the little... That's just dope. Like, seriously. Like, that is, like, some of the best technology, like, ever. Like, that and vibranium. You know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, he can compete as well just as far as this, like, great uh, technology. Like, imagine if that technology 
shit was real. Like, and it was used for the greater good. It was like how that would just, you know, it, it, it goes without saying. But this trailer looked really dope. Like, I'm looking forward to this. We got three great ass Marvel movies coming up with Black Panther, Avengers and Infinity War, and Ant Man and the Wasp. And while I was like, okay, I'm going to see Ant Man and the Wasp, I cannot say before I saw this trailer that I was like excited about seeing it. You know what I'm saying? But I am excited about seeing it now. That music was just dope as hell. And I just, I just can't wait to see this, man. Like, man, we got. <laughs> We are going to be entertained, baby. We are going to be entertained. We are going to be entertained. And Black Panther is right around the corner. But guys, that's just my opinion for the Ant-Man and the Watch trailer. You've seen it. You're watching this video. But what did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. And also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter it's right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below guys i just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for marvel studios first ant-man and the wasp trailer coming out july 6th directed by peyton reed and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon kidavery and that's just my opinion peace